Hey everyone, how's it going? For those of you that don't know me, my name is Fraser Robinson. I own and operate three self-storage facilities currently. I'm here to share all the information, the ins and outs, and what I do on the day-to-day -day managing. Recently, I had a winter snowstorm come through here in Washington, and it messed up some of my gates. So I'm gonna show you how I assess the situation and fix the problem. And before we start this video, go ahead and press that like button so my video can be spread more to other people and share this good information out to them. And also please hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much. The gate stopped working, I'm not sure why, so I gotta figure that out. We've got all the lights on there. Everything seems to be in place here. It looks like the lights on the keypad are all lit up. I think it's on the track as well. That would be the other thing that we look at here. Seems like we're all good. Take this cover off of the gate here, or the gate operator. Let's see what's going on, because the chain doesn't seem like it's going when we tell it to open up. Got one screw on this side, and one over here. Got lights on. Here, chain on that willy. And by willy, I meant gear. I just couldn't think of what it was at the time. This should be over there as well. So none of it's moving correctly. I don't know how it got knocked off, but it did. Because the chain's not on there, it can't pull the gate. So it's not moving properly. There's a lot of slack in this chain right here. So what I'm gonna be trying to do is pull the chain up onto the pulley just with sheer force and strength and see if we can do it that way or if I've got to loosen anything and whatever. So here we go. I haven't ever had to do this with a gate before, so this is my first go at it. <laughs> we'll all learn something. This is not easy. There's part way on there right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to open the gate and see if I'll pull some of the slack from the chain and get it hooked on the pulley or if I can guide it somehow. Well, that obviously didn't work. Okay, I felt a weird vibration in my hand. I think I might have gotten shocked. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna have to just undo the bolt and see from there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is gonna go ahead and just take it off and I'll have to put it back on so I can completely loosen it to re-get the chain back on the pulley and get this gate all fixed. Loosen that. Okay, now, this, see my chain is completely loose now. So now I should have enough slack, get it back on there and we'll screw back in. Take this. Now that we got all that slack in there, we can manipulate the chain how we want. Okay, it's on that pulley. This is on that right there. And then this is on this pulley like that. Bring this up back here. Pull on there. I'm just going to tighten this one up. You can see how the chain is a lot more tight and it's not hanging down so much so that's what you want you don't want too much slack in the chain as well so this tightening this up will hold it into place and i'll tighten up a little bit and then we should be good to go we'll test out the gate well that doesn't sound good the chain is still on there, so that's good, but I'm gonna have to try something else because it's still not working properly. What I had to do was I ended up having to close the gate completely. I had to take the chain off of the gate again so that way I could slide the gate all the way down manually. Then I bolted the chain back onto the gate because what was happening when I was opening it before is that the gate thought that it was already closed and it was trying to open it all the way. When in reality, the gate was already open. So this seemed to fix the problem. Okay, let's try this again. It's okay. Ta-da. Yeah, the beeping sound and the gate will open completely now thank you so much for watching this video i appreciate it please go ahead and like and subscribe and comment on this video what you would like to see more of in the self-storage industry and we'll see you next time